Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of uh, Office of Fuel Outlook, that's our working title for now. I'm Jack, I'm joined by Neil and Andrew, and today we are talking, uh, I was going to ask you how you were, because that's how most people start their <laughs> podcast off, but we just did this an hour ago. <laughs> Nothing's so, changed for him. Yeah. Mm. He's uh, doing the exact same. If you, if you want to know how we're doing, <laughs> check episode one. Uh, just rewind a week, um, we're recording these on the same day. It is... Uh, Monday, February 21st, in case you guys are wondering why we haven't discussed the lockout being over. Um, <laughs> hopefully. Fast forward yeah. to the future, Ho- ho- it still isn't over. Hopefully by the time this episode is out, the lockout is over. Hopefully this is irrelevant by the time it's uploaded. Um, hopefully the Astros lose all their players. Hmm. Um, anyway, let's talk AL Power Rankings today. We already talked about some of the teams just by accident last time. Uh, we're, we're talking about them for real this time. Uh, in the West, I'm going to start with the Astros. They're going to win yep. the AL. No question. I True. think this is obvious. They are losing Carlos Correa. However, they're still just good. Like All their players are still good. Um, and they could pick up a cheaper shortstop if they really needed to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're almost like the Brewers. Like, just good. Nothing yeah. really going on there. Just good. Uh, everything, to talk about. everything about them is superior to the other teams. Yeah, everyone else here. It's kind of a format race who are, for who can suck the most. <laughs> just, not, it's just this one being there. good, and then the rest of the four are just racing for second. That's yeah, they're, all, they're pre- all the rest are pretty good. They're just racing for a while. Um, let's talk number two spot. Who do you have for number two? Um, I'm high on the Angels. I think like they can the actually Angels. do it. When, so, yeah. when you take a team... That was like kind of all right, you know. Probably, probably average. I Barely above five hundred. Right, I'd consider them average, five hundred average. When you take a team like that and actually give them new players, they just get better. Like that's just you know common sense. So yeah. when you when you add Noah Syndergaard, um, when you just basically fulfill needs that this team desperately needs, starting pitching and relief pitching, um, they'll just they'll just get better. And I think especially with, um, I mean, the only thing that could probably oppose second place for them is the Mariners, um, with mm-hmm. Athletics kind of. Um, Starting a rebuild, uh, I can see that happening right now. So, um, for the Angels right now, I got them at second. I think they just they have a lot of players coming back that they didn't have last year. Being a little over five hundred and still they were under. Uh, sorry, yeah, missed, they were under five hundred. Okay, 500. being a little under five hundred and still missing some core players, getting those back and then getting better. Like I, I can see them going off. Uh, so I, I hope Orange County team hope they can go for it. hometown team. You want them though. Uh, you guys need to shut up and stop protecting your Angels fans. Uh, I see what you were wearing, and I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I have the Mariners at number two, um, because they were number two this past season, and I don't. They don't like on paper. They don't look that good. Yeah. But they were making some plays they, that were. Weren't they, they were, like one game out of the playoffs? I feel the, like it came down to the very. They yeah. were. They could have forced game one sixty two. One sixty three. Sorry, one six. <laughs> misspeaking this this episode. Okay, they could have for, uh, forced one sixty three, but the Angels beat them in the last game of their mm-hmm. season. Um, off of an Otani home run, he got booed for that one. I really enjoyed watching <laughs> that one. Padding. I enjoyed that one on TV a little bit. <laughs> I was kind of sad the Mariners didn't make it. I was, I, was sweet. Sweet. I was hoping that they would make it, but also Otani got booed sorry. for hitting a home run. And that was pretty funny. Um, it was exciting. Yeah, uh, everyone with their little we believe signs. Right. <laughs> yeah, we believe. They almost beat out the uh, Red Sox or the Yankees they, to the playoffs. That would right, be been. so funny. Like, yeah, there was almost down. That, that whole Four madness. Way time for there are you. Dude, there I were wanted three. That, so bad. There were, <laughs> that, was, that would have been so much yeah. blood. There were three contenders from the East and one contender from the West. And the A's weren't far behind either. Yeah. Right. They, they, they were like four. three games out of mm-hmm. w- wild card by the end of the season. It was folded. It was wild. Uh, and then we got the most boring outcome possible. There. <laughs> yeah. uh, the so teams boring. that needed to win lost, the, and the teams yeah. that needed to lose won. And Ooh. we ended up with Yankees Red Sox wild card, which was also kind of fun, the rivalry thing. But it was fun to see all the Yankees fans melt down. <laughs> so Our fun. best pitcher got shelled. Yeah, because he couldn't. Yeah. He was sticky. <laughs> um, uh, Kyle Before Seager's gone. I don't think that's gonna. Lewis. It won't. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Ty Ty also, they got Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray. He's good. He's really good. When you good. pick up uh, the Cy Young winner, 
your team just gets better. Mariners have a habit of choking, though, so I don't... I think they'll be wildcard contenders for yeah. sure. They will at least, like, be, like, three games out in my... Yeah, in my eyes, they'll be three games out of the wild card, probably that at worst. Bad. Why do I have? You have the Angels. Why do you have the Angels? Uh, same reason as Neil. I feel like you have two of the best players in baseball. Um, I feel like your pitching is gonna generally figure it out. Okay, it's been about what, like fifteen years or something, where they're Shut not up. not fifteen years, but like <laughs> the past couple seasons, their pitching has been. He's rubbing it in. It is, it is, it but it, they're, they're, should figure it out. If not, I think the Mariners aren't far behind, and the Mariners definitely can leapfrog them for a number two and, and potentially make the one. Yeah, turn. I can definitely see the Mariners. The Mariners are a fun team to root for. The Mariners are fun to root for because they haven't been to the playoffs in 20, 20 years. years. Exactly. The Buffalo Bills. Is, they are the Buffalo the Bills. They are the Bengals. The Bengals of, of the MLB. Yeah. And uh, they have the longest playoff drought in the four uh, American major sports. Mm-hmm. So it is just fun to see them succeed a little bit uh poor guys i was so uh, so i was so sad when were, i was watching their last game of the season against the angels and i call their fans have their signs and they're just like crying dude it's like, God, I'm like, oh, yeah man what <laughs> of all the games the angels had to win it was not yeah, that one they it don't was not win that the one. Game. uh i have the angels at number three only because all of their players are question marks and I yep. feel like it's Especially it's a guarantee that some of their players will not um, live up to the expectation. Uh, senior guard is a question mark. Mike Trout was injured most of last season. Most of last season. Most of last season. Yeah, most of last season. Half, yeah. Um, Otani's been injured before. A um, bunch of guys brought up from the minors. Wall, uh, Marsh and Adele. They had good seasons last year, but it might have been a fluke season because they 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 got brought up towards the end of the season. Um, uh, Loop, the reliever they bought from the Mets, he could be fine, um, I guess. Rendon's a huge question mark. He might get injured again. He might be not injured but not good. I feel like at least some of those guys are going to not come through all the way and they're going to just suck. And some will be good and some will suck, just as yeah. it was last year. Um, I think I, the Angels usually like buy these random guys. Like they bought Matt Harvey. They who else did they get? They got all these like cast offs, and they can't really afford like these legit like number one aces. So like I think center guards a good step in the right direction. I think center guard is a but definitely a step in the right direction. He's usually injured. Uh, maybe he's, this this will be his comeback season. I mean, he's good when he's healthy. Yeah. If he's healthy, he will like absolutely during that Mets World mm-hmm. Series. Yeah. I can uh, see against the Royals. I can see Thor finally stepping up and actually performing well and becoming an ace because he's definitely the ace. And people are saying that the Angels are going to spend big bucks on a shortstop. We have two shortstops up on our whiteboard over there that we're going to talk about later. Um, they're all going to they're they're all going to be big bucks, and I don't think the Angels are going to go for that because they've been doing that in the past. <laughs> they've signed people like Josh Hamilton. Yep. Remember that guy? Oh, Remember yeah. He just went back to the Rangers. Good luck. Yeah. Um, yep. That was really rough. I did not like going to those games and seeing Josh Hamilton at, on the Rangers. It was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Um, that That's my third place pick is the Angels. I think they will be a legitimate wildcard contender as Definitely. well, even though they're in third place. Um, they better be. All that money you spend for these guys, if you don't make the wild card. Dude, we or spend so much money for, every yeah. year. Yeah, it's just sad. This, this is a regular season. This is an average spending for the I Angels. would consider it misspending. You, they buy the players they don't need, and they neglect the it's players a luxury. they desperately need. And, like, Justin Upton, too. He didn't even play, right. like, last year you, at yeah. all, really. He had he a fat DH salary, sometimes. too, right? He had a massive salary. It was mm-hmm. a huge mm-hmm. contract. This team is good. It's just a lack of managing of the front office, in my opinion. Which is why they're not, it's uh, a, a for sure, number two battling for number one. It's a little bit of that. I think this year is a good step. They didn't spend... I mean, they have these big mm-hmm. players that they spent on last year, but they didn't go all in on any huge players, any big bats this offseason. So There's plenty of time for them to ruin yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. But I think, I think the way that they're investing in their team this year is a lot smarter, and it'll lead to yeah. a little more sustained success than a one-off um, 24. 14 playoff run? 2014. 2014. The Royals. Where they made it to the playoffs yep. and got swept, and then that was nice. the end. Like, because they just paid these players for one year. They took, like, a 
seven year vacation. Now they're ready to come back. Okay. <laughs> uh, we all have the same bottom two. Yeah. Yeah. A's. Uh, they're fine. They lost That's, their manager, so that yeah. could. They're going to go down because. It's, the Angels are going up. It's rebuild time. If they, if they it's like get rid of suck, Matt Chapman. where Matt Olson's on the way out. Let's say potentially they move. Where are they going to move to? I uh, could see them moving to Las Vegas. Vegas. That's, yeah, Vegas. That, that's the Oakland way. That's where all that's the, the. Yeah, I could see them staying in That'd Oakland. That'd be cool. If I can see them staying in Oakland, if Oakland next year, but they're gives them there. property rights. Yeah. Um, they're planning a whole stadium right now, and Oakland has not turned them down yet, so. I can see Still them staying in Oakland. I could see that happening. Montreal. I could see them moving to Tennessee. I'm no, <laughs> no way. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're not going to Montreal. I could see them going to Tennessee. Nashville, yeah. Nashville or Memphis. Yeah. Um, it's a big city. Yeah. I see. Uh, I think Memphis it's the Las best. Vegas and Nashville is your best. Yeah. I think those are the big contenders. I think they could go to Portland. I don't think it's likely. I think they. That would be cool. I would like to see a team in Portland. That uh-huh. would be really cool. Um, I would like to Maybe. see a team in Portland. It, but Maybe. I don't think the money is there. Portland is a big soccer town. They got the Timbers, yeah, and they got the too. Short Blazers. So I don't, I don't know if there's room for them in that market. Um, and then um, we have the Rangers. They bought two huge middle infield players. I think it'll take time for them to build around them. I think that's yeah, the end. Yeah, they're of trying my, to start something. A, they're starting a dynasty <laughs> with money. Dynasty. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Dynasty. They're trying to start they're, a dynasty. They're trying to build a, a good next couple of years, and this is the first in there. Yeah, they have they have a lot of nice pieces. They have Adolis Garcia. I like him. He's he came up. They got Isaiah Kiner Falefa. They got he's really good. a bunch of bunch he's, of little like young guys, and I think they drafted the number two pitcher, and he's supposed to be really good. So Kiner Falefa next couple was years pretty good as a shortstop on my MLB The Show team <laughs> as a pitcher. <laughs> So I, I, he could be fine, I guess. Yeah, they're definitely trying to do something. They have um, the pieces. I think it's going to take them a while to put yeah, them together. They have the uh, the um, roster kind of coming along right now, uh, especially with the minor league yep. uh, coming up. And then right now they're just trying to get some money spent out so that way they can actually have players to build around. That reminds so. me of the Dodgers a few years ago when they were like at the beginning of their old owners. They kind of left. Uh, I forgot what their names were. But they like, they didn't have a big payroll. Now they have a giant payroll, and it's slowly building up. And their fan base, the Rangers, is crazy. I went to the like one of the first games. Oh where yeah, they were I remember back. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like everyone there, it was like a sellout, and it well, just shows that like. Have you considered that it was a sellout because it was one of the first? <laughs> yeah. Games back, like. Also that, but I feel like like Texas has a really good Texas fan base. Texas has, that'd be that'd be a fun like kind of team mm-hmm. yeah maybe rangers and astros a little bit more of a rivalry i can see really trying to come up but yeah yeah i'd like really cool. i'd like to see that rivalry happen where both teams are in Te- texas and they're texas. both in the aos yeah. mm-hmm. but the rangers are just awful they're just sadly missing a lot. i saw on the the team oh, store they were selling like astros jerseys like and that the, and, and the, the rangers, rangers. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my> like <laughs> that's so sad yeah uh let's talk central uh, we all have White Sox win. Yep. I don't think that's even close. I think their they pitching so is talent. is above, just leagues above the rest of the rest of the guys in the Central. Uh-huh. Um, it's really just not that close. I don't think. I think the next team the will White be Sox way out. Are the only one trying? Yeah. yeah, White Sox. That that division always has one good team, and the others are just kind of below. I love the White so. Sox with um, Grandal, um, some pitching coming Lance Lynn. Lance uh, Lynn is so good. He's really good. He's really good. And Who's their closer? Kyle Hendricks, right? Or no? Someone else. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Liam Hendricks. Liam, Liam Hendricks. Hendricks. One of the Hendricks. They have Liam Hendricks and they had Kimbrell last year as well. Kimbrell, yeah. So they uh, what players. was that, like a part time closer role? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Free agent, I'm pretty sure. This year. Is, uh, is he gone? I think so, right? Yeah, free agent, I'm pretty sure. Kimbrell. Uh, but yeah, they, he, they had he an got amazing. Lit. Uh, yeah, towards the end, I think he suffered a little bit. Um, but the hype was definitely there during the trade deadline. I think, I don't know, White Sox are just a great team. Um, a lot of right exciting now. prospects. That's Literally right. every position I look at, I'm like, dang, that player's really good and exciting. Like, there's, they no, there's no hole. They had one in 2005, and then uh, they tanked. Yep. And they're they one of the them. few, like, big success stories when you, like, tank all the way down to the very bottom and then mm-hmm. come back yeah. and spend all that money. Right. Um, I think the Marlins did that, too, as an expansion team. Mm-hmm. They, they won it twice. The only is, mistake they've made 
was during this rebuild is trading um, Tatis. Other than that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah for that's Josh true. Field. Yeah, you can lock <laughs> in over that. But I mean, other than that, every... that's just unlucky at that point when that's the only mistake. <laughs> yeah, you've made. exactly. Other than that, this team literally uh, fulfills everything they need to in every position. So, I have Tigers at two. Uh, they got bias. Yeah, that's my whole spiel for them. Is why they're <laughs> going to be better than the other teams as they have Javier Baez. Yeah, uh, I can see them winning way more than they did last. They year. could overachieve. Uh, they could, but the only know. especially if Javi Baez is back, like he kind of had a weird season. He had an off season, right? Really weird season. The only thing the that would make me consider them not above five hundred is just the lack of everything else on the team. Yeah, um, yeah. But like, it's definitely a young team that just needs development. Other than that, like just time. If they get developments, they could, they could uh, make huge. They could get some huge wins at the end and really mm-hmm. push. I don't think they'll be a huge contender, but I think they could have a, they little, could, a small push. Right. If they get in, they could potentially upset. I don't think it'll happen though. They could definitely make a little bit of noise. I have mm-hmm. Royals at three. Mm. That Wait, is, how do you, what do you guys have? At we two? have the Guardians, the Guardians at Guardians at two. Yeah. Um, I think the, Shane Bieber, Jose Ramirez, and a few yeah. others. Yeah, and, and friends, they've got a nice... Group having of guys, a couple of pieces yeah. that can actually... Shane Bieber's going to be... He's going to be even better. In the next yeah, I think I think um, a lot of the players they that have they a lot have of good are going to come up. Yeah. Um, sadly, they will get traded, but <laughs> <laughs> what they have is good enough to get second place and be above 500 right yeah. now. Uh, is Clark... Corey Kluber's gone, right? Corey he's Kluber's on the Yankees. Yankees. He's on the Yankees. Wait, no, he's, he's on the race. race. The race. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I'm thinking of someone else then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the race. Yeah, yeah. He's on the race. Which was a, so, a great pickup for them. Yeah, for the Rays, not for the Guardians. Not for anyone else, no. Uh, really unfortunate for everyone yeah. else. Now the Rays are just better. Um, I have the Royals at three. I do too. I, the I have them there because I am so optimistic. <laughs> I would love for the Royals to go somewhere again uh, I had the time of my life watching them win in 2015 and I'd like to see Salvador Perez do something because he's been with his team forever uh, how many home runs did he have last year like 50 not 50 no, but it was like close 40 to something yeah hey man, uh, he was okay. yeah they were Battling. leading the league yeah. uh, he's crazy I think he and he's only 30 I feel like he, he's been on that team for like 12 years those little Kinda minor league them. guys they have bringing up uh, the, they if, look good if they improve from what we saw last year the Royals could be pretty good in a few seasons yeah. I think this is much like the Rangers I think they're they're transitioning yeah. to a good a good era um, I think Alberto Mondesi I think he's gonna have a good season this year that's my that is my hot take not yeah. really a hot take but I feel like he's gonna he's been under the radar I think he's gonna have a good season and I think Bobby Witt is going to also have... He good. Could, Drew, Bobby Witt. They've got a lot of upside, and is Whit Merrifield on the Royals? Or I no? think he's still going to be there for the next season. Okay, yeah. I, he's they've, they've got a nice group of guys. I think they're better than the Tigers overall. I, yeah, they're still, it's still close. Yeah, but... A battle for third. Uh, you have Tigers at three. Mm-hmm. Why? I What's see your... I see more potential in their prospects. I definitely see with the Royals Bobby Witt, but other than that, I think the overall potential for the Royals really isn't there. And then with Tigers, I think there are basically like a you know two at least core players that I think actually play big league baseball, whereas the Royals have like a bunch of mediocre players that probably belong in AAA and aren't really that great. Yeah. So I just I think as a whole the Royals don't have much potential compared to the Tigers, where the Tigers actually have. A few MLB players that get by and a bunch, way more potential in my opinion, in their prospects. It's a kill Badu season. Exactly. I'm, I'm they start out team. strong. I, I don't know, like, sure, I think Baez will bring a good presence in the locker room. I just don't think it's going to, like, transition to, like, later on. I think that's when, like, the strong teams usually I don't really think it's going to get them third. It, it'll be close. Um, and then they got... You can count on that. The after manager. So. Yeah. Maybe. I have... <laughs> if if he doesn't cheat. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to change my positioning of the Guardians here. Uh, <laughs> Number should, yeah, five? Yeah, they should be in last place. <laughs> uh, they should be in fourth place. Um, the... I, I, see, I see the Tigers and the Royals developing a little more. And yeah. I don't see the Guardians really developing. If anything, they I sell s- more. I see them kind of sell, like, 
getting rid of some they, players. They like can Kluber. I think this kinda, is a selling team. I think they're kind of sinking down in the ranks, and I think we'll see that this this season. And I think we'll see the Royals um, try to boost their player development um, way higher, and the Tigers are kind of just fine. So I think we'll see the Guardians fourth, and then the Twins last because the Twins are awful. <laughs> There's nothing there. The they were supposed nothing. to be good, weren't they? Yeah, they were yeah. Awesome. A down year basically costed them the next few years. Yeah, yeah. that is. That's literally. Did Byron happened. Buxton sign that big deal or no? I believe he did. Okay, good Sadly. luck. <laughs> yeah, he's he's lost. He he's the Soto if Soto actually signed. Okay. Right. He's gonna. I made a yeah. mistake. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they they sold Barrios, um, traded him away, and is Kent really Maeda still on that team? Yes. Okay. I think uh, only a few years left, though. Like a year or two. He's like yeah, 34 yeah. or something. So yeah, he's gonna... they traded him away. Yep. And then he signed a contract with the Dodgers. So, uh, traded away from the Dodgers, signed a contract. Yeah, I have buys for Kent so. I still think he's definitely in the Cy Young ranking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he yeah, can so definitely... He's going to have uh, a great year this year. The three has gone. Uh, literally, Byron Buxton is the only human on that team that actually knows how to play baseball. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that team's last place. Twins last place. Uh, let's talk about the East. Uh, do we I have love the team. Rays on top? Rays on top. I love this team. Rays are on top. Uh, Rays they are, are a contender to win the American League for yep. me. Um, they have the most wins. They clinched the American League like ages before uh-huh. anyone else was like. Like some divisions didn't even have like clear leaders by the yeah. time the Rays had clinched the American mm-hmm. League. I think the. Uh, Braves and that whole battle, that division was still going on. The yeah. Braves yeah. weren't even first place when the race comes. Yeah. Don't so. don't they have a really good farm system too? Yeah, they have that's a the only reason they're good. Farm is the farm system, system, and their roster is not changing that much. We see the same good players from right. them. Yeah. Um, Consistent. I think Wander Franco is gonna have a good season. Oh, Rando, Wander Franco, so high. All those guys. Brad Phillips is going to have a great season also. Just look at the numbers. It's, it's just going to add up. <laughs> I find that guy more funny than actually He's, like. I really, watch. I thoroughly enjoyed his pitching appearance. Yeah, exactly. When he came yeah. out and he threw 94 and then he <laughs> just was thrown at. He's legit. Lobs. It was crazy. Um, yeah. Rays, Rays are going to win. The Rays East, are going to win. Unless they have a terrible season, but I don't see yeah, that that, that literally won't happen. They're too uh, consistent. I have Yankees at two. Same. Okay. I got the Blue Jays at two. We have the same for the East. We do? <laughs> we do. Um, Good job. Copy the <laughs> best answers, bro. Great minds think alike. Uh, yeah, I just, I see the Yankees not suffering uh, death by a million cuts <clears throat> like they did last year. I think everything right, that went yeah. wrong just went wrong. Um, they're they're going to actually put up the numbers that they should. Um, everyone's healthy that they need to. And yep. uh, they got Judge, they got Stanton, like they have everything yeah. they need. They just need to put it together. So yeah, if they um, finally do that, they're number two. The Yankees will have a good team. I don't. They have like one good pitcher, and I think that's it. Their pitching is kind of mediocre. But let me tell you why I think the Blue Jays are gonna be number two. I think they're gonna be the swaggy team of the season. The Padres. The, no, the Padres are already there. I think the Blue the MLB. They have this one team that always comes up every couple years or like every year and I think it's the Blue Jays the Blue Jays have one of the best young teams in the MLB they have Kavon Biggio they have uh, Vladimir Guerrero and they have they have a good farm system and their pitching is really good too I, I like I like them over like teams like the Red Sox the Red Sox I feel like like they have a good team I just don't think they're gonna like go anywhere with I definitely agree. I definitely agree that the Blue Jays roster is better yeah. than the Red Sox roster. Yes. without a doubt. I, th- I think the the Blue Jays will have another elite offensive season. I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty inevitable. Um, I don't know that they will have a great defensive season. They missing struggled a little bit last year. The they they were the opposite of the Mets. Yeah, right. Yes. The Mets had like lights out pitching that would give up one run every game, but the the. Uh, offense would put up zero runs, so they got the, the Degrom treatment. <laughs> they got the opposite Degrom yeah. treatment, where the Blue Jays yeah. would come in and score eighty runs, and then their pitchers Pitches, would give up eighty five yeah. runs, <laughs> and then it's like, damn. They also missed the playoff by one game. They, they okay. were yes. they were part this of that entire thing right here. The Blue Jays are coming up. I'm high on the Blue Jays. 
I actually rank the Blue Jays as the number two team in the AL. I think that's that's how AL? strongly I am. Yeah. Wait, you have yes. Rays one, Blue Jays two. Yes, and the what? Astros three, but that's, not by much. Not by much. That's kind of that's a hot take. That, that I can that is a hot almost take. get behind. Almost. Uh, I think uh, number three. Uh, we have Astros. The Ast- no, no, no. Whoa. In, oh, right. we, we have moved on yet. Yankees, on yet. Red so, Sox, Orioles. That's but pretty understandable. Not you much. just moved the Blue Jays up. We yeah. all had similar rankings. Yeah. Come back to this, like, when the season is over and say that the Blue Jays are, like, making noise, because they will. They, okay. The Blue Jays will absolutely make noise. They'll make the playoffs. Maybe the championship series. This is the most Maybe. competitive division, in my opinion. Yeah. The Red Sox are Except really for the Orioles. baseball. The Orioles are terrible. Right, but there's no true division that has five completely competitive yeah. teams. Every single, I don't every even one think that's at, possible, right? Every it, single it one be. I look at, there's no five competitive teams. This is the most four-team competitive division I've seen. Uh, let's talk about the Red Sox a little bit. Um, I have them at number three. Neil has them at number three. Andrew has them at four. number four. Yeah, respectable. I think that they are very iffy, and I think they kind of are riding a wave. I think if the Yankees do well, the Red Sox will get screwed. If the Blue Jays do well, the Red Sox will get screwed. If those teams do bad, then the Red Sox will kind of... I think the Red Sox are a consistently pretty good team. Yeah. And they will continue to be. But if the Yankees step up or the Blue Jays step up and they're great teams, the Red, the Red Sox, Sox are going to yeah. get owned. Right. Um, they don't really have much going for I, them other than just a bunch of good luck and... Yeah, there's some good players. Kind of, of a weird. Going they got some magic beans. In they the had <laughs> pocket, basically. I think, yeah. <laughs> and didn't they also lose Ben Attendee, right? I think uh, Ben Attendee. Ben on the Royals now. They traded him away. He's on the Royals. That was a while ago. Yeah, that was before last year. Yeah. They so. had a record number of Grand Slams in the playoffs. Uh, that was so. If if they get Kyle Schwarber, maybe they you got two right. Grand Slams yeah. in know, one game just, against yeah. the Astros. I, they, that was fun. That was really fun. I was watching that. I was like, no way. <laughs> There's zero well, chance. They, they were up they by like won. one. It was one nothing in a point, right, for the Red Sox, I think. They were ahead. And then, yeah, they won the first game. Yeah. Of the series, then. Red Sox is going to win. No. no, they're not. Um, no, I have the Blue Jays at four. Yeah. Um, I do as well. That's where they placed last division. Uh, I just realized that these are, this is the standings the, the from last, last year. Yep. Um, um, I don't know. For Blue Jays. I'm just thinking about it in terms of roster. If I take the same amount of players and remove some, the team will not do better. Yeah. If you take your Cy Young away, if you take almost an MVP shortstop away, how does your team True. improve? So just thinking about it logically, if your offense can produce so much and your pitching can do so much and you start to take some away, you're not going to all of a sudden become the the top team in the division. So that's why I have them at number four. They're going to... Their pitching is the really same. good, too. They're going to be good. They're, they're, they're going to be good. Gonna no be, they're not going to be enough These in the East. Yeah. This division could be separated by one, two, three games, okay? It, it's going to oh, be right, close. Right. This, the, the top three, I, I just think the Blue Jays are going to This is the most gonna, flip floppy division because they're all competing, yep. and they're all pretty equally talented. I think top game. three of the West and top three of the East are going to be That's going to be fun. Head fun. to head. Yes. I think it's going to be real close at so the end of the season. Uh, let's talk about the Orioles. They are terrible. Nah. Okay, next anyway. top six teams. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, There's nothing there is there. nothing. There are no good players on the There's Orioles. There's nothing there. Uh, we got Mount Castle. We got... Um, That's about it. Yeah, we have one outfielder who um, converted to only... Did they have any top right prospects hitting. like in the farm rankings or anything? Or no? Uh, not that I, I don't think so. Yeah. You, got Mount Castle. you have the best stadium, but not the best team. They so. have a great stadium. I can think of three players. I, I want to go there so bad. That I would like, and that's, that's it. Other the than that, the stadium's nice. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, it's cool that they put little plaques on the ground if you hit a home run. That is cool. I, I like that. I like oh. the building in the background too. That's the warehouse. Yeah, that's that's, that's what cool. makes it. That's cool. like what that's like the Padres, but like it's way better. Mm-hmm. I, or uh, yeah. Oriole Park at Camden Yards is second only to Fenway. I know that Fenway is like a terrible stadium, but it's fun just because yeah, it's like it's, you know, it's funny yeah. shape and <laughs> the dirt it's looks stupid funny. And it's funny. Yeah, it's kind of just like a fun environment, and they have the Red Sox. Red Sox are historically pretty fine, um, and Wrigley Field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to go there so bad. That's a fun stadium. The stadium was so cool. I went there on the Fourth of July. That's so that was crazy. Sick. Actually, that's so sick. That yeah, like the buildings back there, like all the fans are there, and like we were walking around there like. 
Tickets are free if you're a Cubs fan. There are fifty dollars if you're a Tigers fan. That's what they were playing. <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that there are those buildings out there, and they can yeah. literally do whatever. They, they like want. rent them out. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, that'd be so. I want to watch it from there. That'd be insane. It's kind of far though. Yeah. Top ten Astros winning the American League. Yeah, I agree with that. You have the Rays. Rays, Blue Jays, Astros. Yeah, Astros are number White three. Sox, Yankees. Angels at six, and the Red Sox barely missing it. Uh, the Astros didn't change anything. The Rays didn't. I mean, they changed stuff. They didn't really change anything. The Astros the Rays, lost one player. I also yeah. think. Look, the, <laughs> the Astros. Rays, they uh, had Verlander and Granky. I don't think Verlander is going to be that good because he, he had a major. Verlander. Didn't, yeah. He's been out of baseball for a while. You lose Granky. Their best pitcher is Lance Maybe that right stuff now. a little bit. Was Granky starting? Most Granky of the, was starting, yeah. Yeah, he was because in the playoffs, I didn't. I watched all of the playoff games yeah. that they had, and he didn't start. He, was there. he got injured towards he, the end. I'm pretty he sure. pitched in relief in like five games. It was weird. Yeah, and then he got a hit. So. Yeah, they were <laughs> using him. They were using him very. <laughs> He's one of the last pitchers who's gonna rake. Okay. Yeah, now I was so. <laughs> I was so confused. Like, yeah. it's like the third inning and Granky comes in and then he gets a hit and I'm like what's going on dude? why is Granky pinch hitting yeah. for the pitcher Granky's um, Granky man he's he's a fun player I enjoy watching Astros him. just they're just good they they consistently win they've made the World Series so often in the past like five years and I don't know I can't see them going down from losing only like one or two players yeah so um, I think the end is near though. They're gonna the lose. end is yeah, the end yeah. is definitely. It's near. Bra- did Bregman sign that a deal or no? Mm, I don't know how long he's so. with them. I think even if he's with them for a long time, yeah. he's gonna get old. So, I they had Michael Brantley a few years ago. He was a good piece who did not cheat, so he was actually a good player. You know, and like people are saying, Jose Altuve did not cheat on purpose. I, I don't know. He cheated he, a few no, times it was, on accident. It was conveniently. He was having his worst season right as the allegations came out. And they were like, oh, yeah, now we cheated. Over 2020. Yeah, he, he so had a good season the year after, so maybe he didn't. People were saying that he had a bad season because he would go into, like, Astro Stadium and get booed. And then he's, like, standing at the plate getting booed by his <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he's like, man, I, I this suck. yeah. sucks. <laughs> I yeah. suck. This yeah. sucks. The Astros suck. Yeah. Why am I trying? And then he just strikes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had his worst defensive season errors. ever. Yeah. He also had his worst defensive season ever, which isn't effective. Conveniently, affected. though. Yeah. What do you mean, conveniently? <laughs> no, it, it just. The like, trash cans <laughs> do not help him it on defense. It just kind of makes it. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, grounder. Bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, he's going to hit a grown ball, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, for all two of a, he, he's definitely good. He just had that, that fluke here where nothing went well whatsoever. And he forgot how to play baseball. And he's, he's on the comeback, I think. Um, I think. But yeah, he's still a good player. He's still I think it. Jordan Alvarez will have a great season this year. I can agree with that. He's He was almost he, he could be for the MVP. I was watching um, ALCS and just seeing him come up, like I was scared for the other team. I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, this is intense. And he was from the Dodgers. Who do we try for him? Like, yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Josh Reddick, yeah. We traded for Josh Reddick. And he's back with the Astros like a couple years. Yeah. And we're playing in the World Series. Well, and Jordan is in the farm system, so just our luck. Um, the success is definitely going to end soon. Um, yeah, not this year. Yeah, not this year. They're still good. So. Uh, Rays 2. Yeah. They're He's still crazy. Good. It's yeah. the exact same thing that yeah. happened last year. They're consistent. They're going to win too. Um, I could see them winning the AL. I just have them at 2 just because, yeah. I don't know, that's just a feeling that I have. <laughs> uh, here's a hot take for you guys. I have Mariners at 3. In your <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I can see them winning nine I like, plus games. I like their like, their hitting like overall like core. That's a that's what I like. Um, um, I feel like they need like a pitcher. If they make moves, they they got Robbie Ray. They got right? Robbie Ray, so, but I feel like a they couple need, like, more pitchers. Couple more they could be huge. I think with yeah. a couple more pitchers, I, I think they will take the steps to make those moves. And, Kyle uh, Lewis is looking nice. The I, White Sox. I don't. I don't see them surpassing the Mariners. I, I, the White Sox are fine. They're like top four team. I don't. They're not mm-hmm. that great though. Yeah. They lost I in their first playoff. I just see them as not. They get a free um, pass. The mature playoffs. enough 
so that they're not able to get past the playoffs because they aren't mature enough. Like, that's a really young team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. has almost zero experience. I don't see them winning anything in the playoffs. I'm talking regular season wins losses. Regular season, I, I think I can see them being three in regular season's win losses. I definitely see them coming up big and being better than the other teams. Yeah. Because they're more consistent than all the other teams. They're, they're a good team in a few years. years. And also I'm rooting for them. Yeah. Because they're the mayor. I feel like everyone so. is. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you can't really hate on that team. White Sox four, you guys have them. White Sox four, four and three. three. We already discussed your Blue Jays takes. We don't need to talk <laughs> about that again. Um, White Sox are pretty fun. They get a free pass to playoffs, yeah. so uh, yeah, they're they're gonna be solid. Uh, I have Yankees. Yankees at five, and then I have Angels. Same here. So and Blue Jays. Blue Jays, and you had. There's just more mm-hmm. offensive. Just. Oh. Put all your marbles on the table for the Blue Jays. This is the this is gonna be their yeah. season. You're now. definitely right. That one league. there's always one fluke team. Yep. In every single league, it's not the Blue Jays. <laughs> um, I could definitely get way more behind Jack. I, I think I think um, the, Mariners the Mariners have huge potential there's to be that way fluke more team. Hype. And I think the Angels have the potential to be right. the huge fluke team. The team that comes up is always the team that you didn't see anything from last year. True. Blue Jays is something I we saw their production. They were amazing. The Mariners are someone where we, we didn't really see much going on other than just a slight playoff push towards yep. the end, which is why I see them as coming up because we haven't seen their full potential. They can yeah. absolutely go off next year because we just didn't yeah. see it coming. So I definitely see the Mariners as that team that will explode. I'm not predicting it, obviously. Mm-hmm. I have them at eight. But and if Angels players are all healthy, they could be that team. They could, exactly. they could be top I two yeah. in the American they're League. Also, they're also kind of expected to have that. I just, just have, all this I have Blue Jays at six stuff. above Angels only because yeah. I've just seen more consistent offensive production, whereas Angels have a question mark literally every player. Yeah, so Angels. It's, it's almost secure that they're just going to be good Blue Jays. So. Let's talk about the collective bargaining agreement. Yeah. Um, by the time that this episode comes out, we will know the answer to this question because I suck at writing topics for podcasts. <laughs> um, rumor has it that CBA meetings will be daily. Starting. Hope so. Uh, is this going to happen? 21st. Is, um, this, is this likely to happen? I, I think they're going to have a week delay, and then they're going to like, shoot, we got to go meet up, and then they're going to meet like after. But I, I feel like it'll be consistently, they'll be like, okay, um, we'll sacrifice a little, you sacrifice a little, and we'll get it done. I think they're going to have to have a big oh shit moment. They're yeah. going to be like, man, regular season, we have to fix this in two days or the regular season's not going to start on time. It's going to be a really weak thing. And then they're going to uh, start meeting. People are saying that they should like treat uh, CBA meetings like a job. It's like 9 it to 5. Be. You go in yeah. at 9 you and you leave at 5 <laughs> and there's you're stuck in the room together. Mm-hmm. And Lock the door. <laughs> no, Stay I saw they there. would have like government officials like mm-hmm. or something yeah, like, like that. Like when they when they choose the pope, <laughs> like the FBI. And they better figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> you know how they choose the pope <laughs> and they smoke just comes out. They, of the yeah, they lock them in and the smoke does not appear until the CBA <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, it, <laughs> is agreed upon. They're, they're locked in there for like a month. <laughs> all in there oh for my god! They spend a month in the CBA <laughs> room and then you see the red yeah. smoke and you're like, the lockout's <laughs> on. It airs on national television. <laughs> Breaking news. Smoke Baseball. comes out of the CBA bargaining room. Uh, <laughs> I definitely think that um, forcefully putting them in a room or considering a 9-to-5 job would get the job done That'd almost in a up. day. That would the only yeah, reason it, it's it, not it, happening is because they're too petty to actually sit down. It, but they spend a few hours and actually talk. They'd get this thing done in a day. Yeah. The thing is that... There's uh, no rush, though. That's the thing is the, no one can make them do that. Exactly. They are the owners. Yeah. They do what they want. <laughs> It's not like the U.S. government is going to come in and say, we want baseball, that, that so would be, you're in That would be now. a dream. <laughs> you get, like, the marshals in, and they're like, figure it out. <laughs> the, the FBI comes <laughs> in to interview the MLB negotiations. Um, it's definitely, I'm pretty sure that they will go daily, but the pettiness of doing 15-minute meetings will definitely still occur. That was yeah. crazy. It's that still going to happen. happen. They're still going to do meetings where they walk in, someone says something, proposes something, and no one budges, and then it's over. We propose that you pay minor leaguers. Yeah, that's stupid. uh, (laughs) That's just (laughs) unbelievable. Um, Great bargaining going on. Yeah, it's real. You can really tell that the owners care about baseball. Um, Um, Yeah, with it being daily, I don't know. We'll see. That should hopefully move the needle a little closer to the season starting soon. I can see Rob Manfred totally just lying that they're going to be daily. He has a tendency. Like, he could straight up just say they're going to be daily and then they meet, like, once every two weeks. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, 
Rob has kind of a way of doing that. Um, it's to our convenience. Yeah, he had a, pr- a press release that said, we truly care about the fans and we're working with all 30 clubs and all 30 clubs are willing to work with the player. Like this was like, like four days ago, they released like the clubs are all willing to work with the players in harmony to ensure that the fans get baseball on opening day. And I'm like, that is the just do that it. That's the biggest load of BS I have ever heard. Like, they don't care. Otherwise, they wouldn't have taken the weekend off. Mm-hmm. They had four days off. If they want the season to start out, they're not going to take four days off. I don't know. Okay, let's talk about free agents um, and contracts. I say and contracts because we're, we're going to talk a little bit more little bit about Juan Soto what he's gonna do um he's not a free agent though I think he's a free agent in 24 Tor- if his rookie year was 2019 I think that'll be his first year in their six years of control so 2019 20 uh 21 and 22 23 24 so yep. 24 that sounds about right. I said 26 last episode that was wrong <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what I thought too 24 so he'll sign what like a two-year contract two-year contract yeah and then Tess's do you think he do you think if the Nationals offered him huge money for a longer term contract he would take it like if they said like five year um, 400 million dollar a year deal do you think he would take that if they keep sucking then no but there's some nice prospects on the way for the Nationals Um, he has to decide by the time the season starts whether he wants to sign with them for and for how long yeah and if they even want to uh, tender him a contract. Because if they want to, they can just not give him a contract, and then he can go somewhere else. He can enter free agency early, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Or they can yeah. send him down in the minors because he has, he has club options. Now, that's some big manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if they send him down? <laughs> what would the excuse uh, be? Like, oh, we don't think no, he's ready. There's no excuse. We don't think he's ready for the big leagues yet. just trying to manipulate service time. That would um, be... He's definitely gonna take, uh, like a short one or two year deal for like a decent amount of money, a little over fifteen mil. I can see him big. taking four or through. five if they give him huge money. I can see, I yeah, if they offer him four years and they pay him legit, um, the amount of money that he would get in free agency for yeah. those four years. Yeah, I can see him doing that. Um, I don't think he's gonna sign there though because he definitely has a competitive mindset. Yeah. Or he just wants to win. And he's yeah. not gonna win. I he's think he'd be willing that. to sacrifice two years of not winning to get the bag, and uh-huh. then so that he doesn't have he to worry about yeah. how much he's right. getting paid, and then he can go somewhere else for less if he wants. Uh, let's talk about Carlos Correa. Will he be the highest paid player in the MLB? The MLB, because um, rumors are that he wants to be. He got a new agent. He saw rumors how successful are, everyone else was. Rumors so are yeah. saying that I he, want that guy. He saw Corey Seager get this huge deal, yeah. and he's he was like, like I'm better. Dang. That agent is good, <laughs> and I'm better than Corey yeah. Seager. So, equals big money. So, what team has stake in it for um, Correa right now? I, what team is in need of a shortstop and has $800 billion to give to him this season? Angels seem to never lose money. Yep. They're just made I, out of cash. Don't they I would a... kill myself if he were the <laughs> So let's move past that. We'll okay, talk about that later. Option. But I uh, said I said he could go to a, like a Midwest team like the Cubs or the Cleveland in not in the Cleveland Guardians. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's like he's already like won his championship and I feel like he just wants his money. So yeah. and also the Guardians and I said Tigers. I the Tigers already have a short side. But still, um, that these teams all have good farm systems, and I don't by that time he could. I know that Carlos Correa good. wants to win. I don't think he now. cares about winning as much. Yeah, he, does. he already he did. Cares it. about getting paid. He wants to win right now. There's no doubt. He's he's he's, he's is like he a Scherzer situation where he wants the money, but he's not going to go. I think to crap. I think he's he gonna wants re- money and the win. He's gonna resign with the Astros for like two years, and then he's gonna get. He could. Back. He could do that. I, that could definitely very well happen. If he resigns with, um, with the Astros, then they would be the best team in the American League. I have yeah. zero doubts that if he resigns, they will be the best team in the American. I don't League. think it's gonna be a big mega deal though. For the no, Astros. probably not. Um, I can't see the Guardians or the no. Tiger. I mean, what the Tigers those, have like, a shortstop. Midwest I can't teams. see them forking out the money. I don't. Most of them don't have that money. Yeah. The Royals don't have that money. The Tigers spent it all. And, Baez, 
the Guardians are, I don't know, they don't seem to spend a whole lot of money on any no, one true. player. I don't know the last time uh, they did spend money. Yeah, I don't so. see the Midwest teams going huge in on a big deal for Carlos Correa. Um, it happened with Baez, so I don't know. I that, could see that the that Dodgers also... doing it if all the Dodgers, no. if, all no. the, if all the Dodgers fans yeah. did no. not despise. Carlos if you're gonna Correa. kill yourself because he shines to the Angels, I'm gonna kill myself. If he see that, the that's Dodgers. that's what I'm talking about. Is I, okay, that, yeah, that's the reason he won't go to the Dodgers. I think. There's, I think the Dodgers have the cash for him. Do the Yankees have like is? Lemethew is still there, right? Yeah, he's okay. pretty fine. But he's he's thirty four, so they could do like a little switcheroo. I could see the Blue Jays maybe, maybe looking maybe. at him. I could actually see that now that I think about it a little bit with the shortstop opening. I could see yeah. that. Yeah, Bobachet is there though, so I don't think that would. He's a he's a second baseman. Right? Yeah, by trade, they put him at second so. and Carlos yeah. Correa at short. Yeah. They'll just do that. Potentially. That that would be nice. That could be huge. Then 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 yeah, 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 okay yeah yeah they they would completely destroy. This guy is such a huge team. factor, and it's way too early to be making power rankings, but it's fun, and I like speculating. Um, I said I can see Yankees on my little sheet. That is wrong. Don't the Yankees like hate Correa too? The Yankees. They don't really like him. That yeah. Much. Although, Although, they I, hate anyone. I th- who they hate Altuve more. I think. They're like, right. you join the roster and they hate you until you do something nice and then yeah. they like you. Yeah. Like, you're despised in New York until you, like, yeah. do when some act of charity. Well, that's a and like, oh, okay, you're, like you're fine you. now. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but they have a default, I hate you in New York. Mm-hmm. That's just the New York mindset. Yeah. So, uh, state of mind. He would definitely Unless you're a Mets fan, something. then you're so sick and tired of losing that you'll, you're just happy that someone joined your team. Uh, take those magic beans. Let's talk about Clayton Kershaw. Hmm. Do you guys think that oh. Dodgers is no question? He should resign with the Dodgers. Like it would definitely. be, it would they be a huge be PR perfect. move for him. He would, yeah, he would be so popular if he signed mm-hmm. with the Dodgers. Do you think that's what he's interested in? Yeah. I think so, cause he can stack up those rings. But I also think um, he might want to go home to the Rangers, and the Rangers need a pitcher, and the Rangers' best pitcher is John Gray. If he goes to the Rangers, he could potentially. Maybe contend for a ring, but he's also 34, so I think he signs with the Rangers. I could see some teams. Um, I think the Dodgers aren't interested in paying Kershaw a lot of money. Yeah. Injury season. I think he wants a lot of money, too. I think he wants to get paid amount. a pretty good amount of money. I can see him taking a one-year deal with like the Angels or someone who... That'd be cool. Or a team that needs a one, a one-off a one roster. like Just like... The Angels yeah. are going in one year, right? They're like... Syndergaard, one-year contract, all that fun stuff. So I could see them signing Clayton Kershaw for zero dollars, one-year deal. Kershaw proving himself, like having a pretty good season, and then going back to the Dodgers and getting paid. Like, uh, that'd back. be cool. I can see that sort of deal yeah. happening. For me, Kershaw, I see absolutely none of that happening at all. Whatsoever, <laughs> zero percent chance. Stay on the Dodgers. Um, I'm going <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I, I've seen Turner's free agency, and um, knowing because he's been there for quite some time, and that was basically a test of LA's loyalty. You know, if, yeah. if we have this player who's been with us for a while and he means a lot to us, are we willing to pay him? Their answer was yes. They actually paid him uh, and gave him the bag. And from Turner's perspective. He basically said that I literally can't imagine myself in another uniform other than the one yeah. I'm wearing. So knowing that that's what Turner believes, I can see that exact same mindset with Kershaw. I've literally worn this uniform my entire life, and I am not putting on another one uh, for the rest of my career. Also, uh, seeing how they paid Turner, I know that they're actually not going to short Kershaw. Okay. Like they, they pay based off legacy, including yeah. talent. So oh. if they say, you are literally a Hall of Famer, they will still give him the bag. They will not give him the 30 mil or whatever, you know. Yeah. They won't give him something unreasonable. The beta salary. They will definitely give him... Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they will definitely give him something, though, over 20 mil. Because they know that he's... They, they pay you off your legacy as well, yeah. based on, other than your performance. They will give him the bag, and Kershaw belongs in LA. As a Dodgers fan, I want the, them to re-sign Kershaw. I love Kershaw. But also, they kind of have a really good farm system for pitching like Dustin May is 23 mm-hmm. they have literally like a four headed monster like coming up it's crazy and Andre Jackson I think could be really good mm-hmm. next year but I mean 
it'd be I would really like for him to retire as a Dodger. It that also would be could fun. Very well. Not I don't happen. doubt it in my mind that he yeah. will retire. Like it's almost hundred percent certain in my yeah. mind that he will Hope retire as so. Dodger, and that will happen. Yeah. And yeah, he's just he has that Dodger blue in his blood. He's gonna be a Dodger for the rest of his life. He's not gonna put on another uniform. Okay, that discussion is done. I I see <laughs> Kershaw going somewhere else Same. for one year, two years maybe at most two years, and then going back to the Dodgers. Uh, let's talk about Freddie Freeman and Anthony Rizzo. I'm pairing them together because they're both uh, first, base first basemen. Yep. Hit the free agent market this year. They're both pretty good hitters. Um, you swapped them. I, I swapped them, them yep. Uh, you think they're going to exchange first basemen? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think that is the Look, stupidest <laughs> idea in Here's history. why. Here's why. Their first baseman is literally <laughs> stupid <takes>. not e- <laughs> It's not even that yeah. bad of a take. <laughs> Listen, Rizzo, I don't think Rizzo is committed, okay? Rizzo's not committed, Rizzo but the Yankees Luke Voigt, cash. Luke Voigt is their backup. They need, they need a first baseman. So you're baseman. telling me they wouldn't and pay... And Freddie Freeman, listen, Freddie Freeman <laughs> has literally had, like, issues issues with the front office, and I think the Yankees are willing to take on his contract to get another chance to, like, like potentially win a World Series. And I also think the Braves, they need a guy... And it, I don't know. He's the only like other big name on the market, and I think it could very well happen. So crazier things have happened. I also think um, it's just like the money and the Yankees are this big like payroll team, and I think they could make it happen. I think Rizzo wants a lot of money. Yeah. I mean that's evident. Yep. Otherwise he'd like go back to the Cubs for like zero dollars, mm-hmm. because um, he likes he liked being a Cub. When they won, so I think Rizzo's looking looking for some bag. I yeah. think Freeman is looking for some bag. Mm-hmm. They're both pretty good first basemen. They both hit. I don't think that they would switch. I think. I think the Braves, if they're not gonna pay Freddie Freeman, they will not pay Anthony Rizzo. I don't yeah. see them. I don't see them not paying Freeman mm-hmm. and then <laughs> paying Rizzo. I don't. That doesn't seem You wouldn't say no to one me. of those and then take the other option. I could see if Rizzo was going on the market for cheap, I could see maybe the Braves pick up Rizzo because he's right. cheap. Right. And then the Yankees have no choice but to sign Freeman. Mm-hmm. I think that the Freeman situation will be a little bit like the lockout is right now, where it's like they're kind of having like a, a pissing match and it's like uh, Freddie Freeman wants to get paid some money, which he should because he's crazy. And the Braves don't want to give him any money, and uh, spring training's coming up, and yeah. Freeman has to sign with somebody, and the Braves are going to be like, "Wow, he's not going to sign with us if we don't pay him," and then they're going to pay him. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's going to end up happening. He definitely has issues with the front office, knowing that he wanted to sign before the lockout, yeah. and that didn't even happen. Yeah. So that means there must have been a dispute big enough for him to risk to wait uh, his contract and have to wait yeah. all this time, if you know. I th- the office yeah. Was like that. The- the Braves are stupid not to sign him. Yeah. They have the money. They will sign him. Um, they, he, yeah. He or someone else will to sign him the Braves. Braves. Right. The thing is with these two paired going into free agency, um, there's obviously a lot of needs for first baseman between the Yankees, the Braves, and I don't know, Dodgers are always kind of looking for someone, but between those three. For Muncie. Um, yeah, just another lefty power bat or something. Um, I wish. Uh, especially with Seager lost um, to the uh, Titan, no, was it the uh, Rangers? Rangers. Um, they're definitely looking for someone to replace that lefty offensive production. So between these three, um, wherever they go, it's going to be Rizzo. It would be a good uh, DH. Freeman or Olsen. Those are definitely going Rizzo to. Rizzo would be. Yeah. Rizzo would be crazy. They're DH. going to That'd land, be fun. especially on a National League team. A National League team. Ooh, you're National right. League. Te- National League teams are gonna, if the CBA goes through, as we've seen with uh, does uh, DH. Uh, National League teams are going to need to pick up a bunch of hitters. I can like definitely Nelson see Cruz. people who are good hitters yeah. but can't play mm-hmm. in the field. I can see Rizzo picking up the Nelson Cruz role of just being DH and yeah. just trying to offensively put up numbers for any team that picks him up. Or like a uh, Kyle Schwarber role where he just kind of yeah. floats around teams and DHs and is yeah. consistently good. I can, uh, let's talk about Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. Okay. Um, was on the Giants last year. Yeah, I think he could be on the Giants again. I, I definitely see he that could. again. Uh, they're willing to spend because um, yep. they they realize that their core um, 
that they have now is, is good and they can win They're championships. They're really good. They could really win good. championships. Yeah. So they understand it's time to spend and invest in this team. That's so your guy, too. That, that's like, that's, yeah. that's your one power bat. He's, yeah, he can they have, play many They have like Brandon Bell, and Brandon Crawford, all these guys, but uh, that would be, that'd be a good one. Bryant would be a great pickup for the Giants. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I mean, I, I definitely see Castellanos with the Padres more, but if uh, the Padres need, DH for need something like that, that, I can see them picking Ooh. up Bryant just to have someone who is a multi-tool player and just yep. fit anywhere they want. So I can see the Padres investing. In Some Bryant teams are going to have crazy DHs. Like, it's yeah. going to be just stacked. I mean, mm-hmm. they have this guy, like, oh, come on. It's going to be a weird transitionary period with the DH where yeah. national league teams are going to get screwed over at first because <laughs> they don't have the extra hitters. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I definitely see Bryant with the Giants, most likely. That's the favorite, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the most likely by far. Uh, Trevor Story. I think that he's going to re-sign. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I think he's going to sign with the Orioles, <laughs> and it's going to be... He wants that thing. bag in Colorado. Yeah, they're give, they, they, they are willing to pay him that bag. He, realize, know he realizes like, he's only good in Colorado, so might as well just stay there. It's the Coors of <laughs> I yeah he's not staying in Colorado. No. I, that's the funniest joke I've ever told. <laughs> uh, I can see him going to the Angels maybe. Yep. Yes. Uh, they Go are on. in need of a shortstop. Uh, Jose Iglesias is fine. He's not that good though. Um, it would be huge to replace him with someone who is really good. Um, mm-hmm. Then they could beef up their middle infield a little bit. If David Fletcher has a good season, then their middle infield would be uh, really that'd be good. Nice. It would be. A, Scary middle infield, not as bad as the Rangers, but still pretty scary. Mm. Um, where else would he go? Is that it? I, I said the Phillies. Okay, the Phillies have what BD is it with you and stupid. Takes. It's not even that bad. Like it. There's, we, we there's a good amount of logic about, behind uh, it. We were just, talking about. Okay, okay, explain. In the national his payroll episode. isn't even the, their payroll isn't even that bad. Besides Harper, and their their shortstop is Didi Gregoris, who's one of the worst defensive. Shortstops in the game, you get one of the best defensive shortstops in the game. That would definitely increase the Phillies' chances. To so if make that push. deal goes that, through, yeah. your National League take from last episode would make I would, a lot I would, more I would sense. That's yeah. why I'm confused. Because how that's why I put like my that, logic on that. But also say that the middle infield is shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I also got Chris Bryant going to the Mariners. So. Okay. No, I can see that. That's happening. fine. I can definitely see that happening. Um, but yeah, I. I I don't know if it's the most likely, but story to the Angels is the best they, I can see happening. They signed JT Riomuto to the Phillies, okay? They they definitely have a tendency to sign these big guys, these big money deals. So it can happen. It's a dark horse, but it can happen. Story to the Angels scares me a little bit because big pickups like that, like Josh Hamilton and Albert Pujols, and they have historically been awful for the Angels, and I really don't want to see that kind of deal happen again. Mm-hmm. Um I, I can just see this being a good deal because I don't really I've never really agreed with the other yeah. signings that they've made and this is one that I actually can get behind so that's why I think this one makes the most sense um, especially with the Poulos one picking someone up at, like the end you know of their career when like the hype's kind of dying down yeah um, like that's just a bad signing like don't do that so for a story and Angels it just makes sense this is a big time for the Angels this is yeah, a huge they've just, they're coming up They've been needing they, a shortstop. They took their chance on a, some random Japanese dude, and he is so good. And Mike Trout is so good, and they are the two best players in baseball. All of their deals are kind of lining up by accident right now. Yeah. Like, they've made big signings in the past, but they've all kind of fallen apart and got traded away immediately. But all these, out, like, they're all coming together, these big contracts. And I think the Angels could have a huge year if they make the right moves if they're very careful about what moves they make mm-hmm. uh, I didn't prepare for these guys so I have no idea mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to put a lot of input in yeah, we're just going to brief talk Kenley Jansen some people are saying he's going to go to the Angels I don't think that's, that's likely not, not going to happen um, people are saying he's going to go back to the Dodgers I don't see Unlikely. that happening I don't see it happening either. I think he could go to the Marlins I could maybe. see I could he see wants that to change, he wants that sure. money What's that big bag? Yeah. The Marlins yeah. can pay for him. I think he wants to be rewarded for his... Jeter really will pay pitching. for his contract. And he's really good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I can see I can see Marlins happening. I yeah. can see Marlins. Mm-hmm. Uh, or the... Uh, dude, I want to say 
D backed because they signed Mad Bomb. I don't okay. know. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's kind of right. right. D backs yeah. are definitely the gonna sign one they of these one for guy. no reason. Yeah, they're gonna be on I, the team. Sadly, that's and that's, that's on it. the side though. It, it could happen. Yeah. Uh, are the Cubs in need of a closer? Because they just went Maybe. all in on Strom. Yeah, let they me see what they have. They're in need of everything. Do they have, yeah. So. Do they have uh, Kyle Hendricks? Right. Yeah, they have Kyle Hendricks. Have Kyle Hendricks. Um, they're they're getting they by have, with Kyle Hendricks. Their closer right now is, yeah, a no name. So they could. I could see them going in on Kevin yeah. Jansen just because okay. it's just yeah. So if you get Strowman, Marcus Strowman, they're obviously looking to kind of get something going. So they still want to hire the one just with new people. Yeah, Ken, I think of all the people on this list for the Cubs, it would be Kenley because uh-huh. he's right. Know, just fits in with the moves that yeah. they've made this season, this offseason. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Uh, Kyle Schwarber, I can see him staying on the Sox. Yeah. I, I don't. Yep. I, I see so, them just so. resigning him. I see big them big money. Gauge. Um, he came in as yeah. a question mark, and he literally—I think he led their team in home runs in the playoffs. Left fielder. You have to put him there. Left fielder, right? And then he moved to yeah, first base. Yep. And then he, it worked he, out. He screwed up a flip, and he did. That was the funniest thing I saw in the playoffs was when he threw it way over the pitcher's head, um, on that simple flip to first base, and then he did it again in the same game, and he took his hat off and he gave a little. He's like. Acting like it was the greatest thing he's ever done. <laughs> I, I, everyone in the stadium was cheering for him, so I think the Red Sox love him. Yeah, they definitely and like him. I he think can get that DH role right there. I think he'll stick just, around. I can see that. Happening. Castellanos, I gotta be honest, I know next to nothing about this guy. Yeah. This man is he's basically just off power production. Yeah. Um, what does he play? What position does he play? I don't even know. Outfield. Outfield, correct? Yeah. Left? No. You don't even know his position because it's shit. Yeah, um, but that doesn't even matter. <laughs> he's <laughs> basically. I think he plays right. Yeah. He basically just hits uh, incredibly, Bombs. and Absolute he's really dukes. exciting. This man literally is a perfect fit for I, San Diego. Padres, yeah. They need a DH. Just came yep. out. I could see him maybe right going to a team like the Mets. Not not the Mets. He'd want specifically. a bag. But um, I don't. If he's an offensive guy and you have good starting rotation. It may be irrelevant that he's terrible at left field. Mm-hmm. If he mm-hmm. can hit, that's why. If I'm, he can just hit and he's focus be on that, he'll be he'll be dangerous. Yeah. So if he goes to a team that has a deadly rotation, and they can stop runs yeah. from being saved, he can create those two extra runs that they need to win the games. Mm-hmm. Who's the Blue Jays' uh, DH? Blue do they Jays. have one? <laughs> Blue Jays. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. Do they, they, they do have he, one because he they're an American yeah. League team. If they don't have one, that could be another one. Yeah. But they have a player that plays DH. They don't just cycle through whoever. They might just the cycle through. They yeah. might put Vlad yeah, there sometimes. Did in That's what they did. Because um, I know teams that do that. Oh, they have... No, it wouldn't work. They have Teoscar Hernandez. He's good. He's oh, pretty okay. good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He yeah. could go on know, an L team. Padres is the most logical. He's role. a really exciting player. And or the, they're going to be in need of DH. So. Yeah. Or the Giants. That could be another one. Um, yeah. Maybe. I could see maybe. that. Maybe. Both of those teams are in need. Um, but I don't know. Padres, I feel like, is literally a perfect fit. Like, almost too perfect. Yeah. Let's talk about Carlos Rodon. I don't know. I think he's going to resign with the White Sox. Just based on... I can see that. They need they I need think pitching. the White Sox like their roster right now because they got them. He's going to go somewhere where a team needs pitching and they have money. Angels, White Sox, Dodgers, maybe. Both those. Dodgers, Angels, I, White Sox. Is he a starter? Yes. Yeah. 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 He had a no-hitter last He's year. a number, I think, either two or three. So if the Angels go with all of the guys that we've been talking about, saying, oh, this guy's definitely going to go to the Angels. The hype is on them. might go to the Angels. Yeah, the hype's on the Angels right now mm-hmm. with their, like their moves they've yeah. been making. So let's, let's say that the Angels make all of these moves and they have unlimited money and there's no salary cap after this CBA. Okay. We got Clayton Kershaw. Oh my! We got Shohei Otani. We got Carlos Rodon. Um, I'm forgetting someone. Um, Cindergard. Yep. If everyone's healthy, that would be a lights out rotation. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. lights out. Definitely. Just I mean, Shohei might That'd give up a run too, but he just gets them back. When mm-hmm. As a hit. Dodgers yeah, fan, I kind of want to see that happen. It would be fun. That'd be so uh, cool. The Angels would sweep the Dodgers in the freeway series once again. Just like that happens every for year. No reason. Yeah, it's <laughs> the Angels, absolutely the Angels no are terrible, and the Dodgers are good, and they win the freeway series. 
Uh, Those are the most frustrating games to watch because you know that they can yeah. win. Yeah, how? Yeah. <laughs> they put all their money on that one, and like, they just every I've year. watched them like thoroughly. They just they give up runs and they make silly mistakes. Like Angels, literally, just get better almost. Like I see the Dodgers, they do the exact they same don't, thing. They do not care. But the other team literally still beats them. When I've seen like them face like Braves and they beat them, so I, it seems like the Angels literally just step up their game. It yeah, means a lot to the fans, but. The Dodgers don't care. They're like, yep. Yeah, I, yeah honestly, I'll take one of six season. wins and lose the freeway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Then sub 500. Yeah. 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 Um, um, but yeah, Rodon, Angels, I can see that happening. Soler. Uh, another DH, I think. Um, DH? I yeah. think the Braves uh, could resign him. I can him. see him staying with the Braves. Yeah. Right. I can see him staying with the Braves, DHing. They yeah, it's the same thing with Castellanos. And I could see national teams pick him, national league teams, other national league teams pick him up. Um, for yeah. DH. He's got the power. I back. think he could go to the Phillies, maybe. You also. really like the Phillies. I like this man the Phillies, Phillies, Blue Jays. Blue Jays. <laughs> those are my two favorites. Those are your, those are your yeah, up this man be teams. right. Come back to this in like a couple months. It's going to be... My up-and-coming teams are the Angels and the Mariners. Those are my... And the Padres, I guess. Yeah. Are they an up-and-coming team? Really. I don't think so. No, they're, they're already a favorite. No, no, no. Yeah. They're a team that just needs to prove themselves. Which um, I think they can. Expanded playoffs. Let's talk about... Ex- uh, what do we got? A minute five? We can talk about expanded playoffs. An hour five. Uh, an hour five, not a minute. <laughs> um, so right now it's ten teams, right? Ten teams, yeah. Ten team playoffs. Yeah. To make with it. a single game wild card. Mm-hmm. Um, owners proposed 14, players countered with, countered with 12. Yeah. So let's say we have a 12 team playoff. Would that be um, two teams from every division? Would it be top two from division? Yeah. Yes. Top I, I don't think division. top two, but the top. Or would it be? You know, yeah. or would it be top three? Top three with overall. three wild card teams. Three wild cards. It's like the NHL, the way the NHL does it, right. where they just pick the top three teams and then they have three wild. If card If you had teams like, or like that. I think the top three like teams overall is the better thing. Cause yeah. How have, do you? We have you, like teams like the Tigers and then like, I don't know. Let's would say you like, prefer a playoff yeah. uh, set up uh, the same as it is, where you know you win your division? Um, then you're in the playoffs, or would you prefer a win based? I would. I yeah. I like the I like the intensity that comes with huge divisional races. Mm-hmm. Right, it creates the rivalry. I like. That'd be cool. I like the. Okay, I know that it's stupid that the Dodgers won 106 games and still, still had to go to the wild, wild card, card, but it was so fucking exciting. Mm-hmm. It, right. was, it was. It was crazy. It it brings in views for the wild card game. If it's not a best of one, it brought in views yeah. for the probably last three games of the season. Just seeing the Dodgers yeah, trying that would to be, catch up to those Giants, that would be so. Fun. That was re- that was one of yeah. the main reasons right. that I watched the Dodgers and I got so involved with what they were doing, and uh, that race at the end was enough to make me go to like really thoroughly go want to go to the wild card game. I went to the wild card game. It was so crazy, and that kind of intensity only happens with the divisional yeah. race. If the, right. the uh, players um, first news that I heard in the lo- one of the first pieces of news that I heard in the lockout was that the players wanted there to be total four divisions two in each league mm. so with expanded playoffs it wouldn't work like that it would probably just be the top top six teams from each each league yeah okay. which would not be that great I mean it's fine it's but it, it doesn't rivalry. it doesn't make that those like super intense it, moments happen mm-hmm. where you yeah. have like That'd be the wild card race and the Yankees fun. and the Red Sox right. like that doesn't happen if you have a 12 team That's top they six the rivalries don't really exist in other sports as intense as they do in baseball they do in football um, but in football you've never seen a uh, hate or a passion as strong as a Dodgers fan against a Giants fan. Like, you don't see that. Raiders fans can I be guess Raiders fans can you be can like make that, that argument for a Chiefs lot of Chiefs, 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 Chiefs fans Chiefs fans and Raiders fans have huge, like, like yeah. one of the biggest rivalries in sports is Chiefs Raiders. Like, yeah. it's it's not. There's more of a rivalry in baseball because it's been going on. Nothing has long, long, long lasted longer than so 1950. Base baseball rivalries are longer, but that's just because baseball is like literally ancient. Yeah. It's like right, but America's it's, past. It's, I feel like it's more intense because of the history, this long history, and the closeness of the division. Yeah. Literally racing to try and yeah. like, when you, like it's it's more game involved. Then I feel like the Chiefs and Raiders is like I just hate you because you're on the other you're, team the, and I'm gonna division. beat you up. Whereas Dodgers yeah. Giants is like I want to win the division. Like it's more yeah. game oriented. 
Yeah. You can the other also, time is the other football is more just you're the enemy. Like I, I you know that's just how it is. Yeah. The Dodgers Giants, it's, it's like we're not. competing. You have the Raiders taking like victory laps around. Right. The right. And like like dancing on the. Like, the what's Chiefs the competition logo. between the Raiders and the Chiefs? You could also not existent right now. It was it was exi- it was it was there at the at, toward the end of the season. There there was a Raiders Chiefs game and it it had playoff implications yeah. for both teams. It didn't really work out. Yeah, Nowhere yeah. near as exciting as racing. For you could also do the NBA approach where there's like eight teams make it and there's also like four others in the play-in. So like it's like top ten and the seven, if the seven wins, they're in the they're in the playoff and then the eight has to win two games to make it in the playoffs. I think that could work out the best because you have the Mariners who would be in the play-in. You have like the Indians. All these teams who are on the edge have a chance to make the playoffs. I think that would be... A fun way to yeah end it. I think I think there has to be some some element of emphasizing divisions yeah. in baseball. Mm-hmm. Whether it's it whether it's you pick you keep the same divisions and you just do top three from each division make it, and then there's just the bottom three are like in some weird wild card single elimination bracket. That'd be cool. I could I could see a single elimination bracket for the wild card. You could do a three team. And then team. have them go into a four a four team playoff playoff. You could do the bottom three for the wild card, right? Mm-hmm. And have the best record pick which team they want to face. Bro. Yeah. That'd be or, cool. Or or give the the top wild card mm-hmm. team a bye. Right, right. Top team bottom gets a two, bye, and then the bottom two have bottom a bye. Bottom two play. To play. To face face the top wild card, yeah, that's and then good. that and team, that, that team, that team goes. play goes into the playoffs. The actual right. playoffs. that's actually good. That would be fire. I would actually thoroughly enjoy that. Pick. And it leads to to the same divisional rivalries. Mm-hmm. But the issue with that is that it's worse. It's like the Dodgers won 106 games, and now they have to play like two wild card yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> doubles. What the if issue. there was like a divisional, like each divisional team who's in contention, like play each other? And then it's like whoever wins that plays like the worst one and then the best team in all divisions has a, like a bye. And then whoever those two divisions like play plays the best team. So that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, 16 team playoffs should never happen. No. No, no, no. Not in baseball. That, that opens the opportunity. Well, with the amount of teams that we have currently. Less than 500 if we, Yeah. If we playoffs. expand. It's if rewarding. If we expand, the teams then sure. It, it really is. It's, it's so stupid. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. In basketball, you. That's what they do. A majority but, of the teams should not make the play. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I could see if there were two or four expansion teams. Like, if we if good. we put a team in Portland and put a team in Vegas and put a team in um, Nashville and put a team in... Where else? Where do, they, where else do we need a team? Nowhere. <laughs> Montreal. Uh, San Antonio. Montreal or San Antonio. Then we have four teams... And we have 34, and then we could do a 16-team playoff. But the majority should not make the playoffs. That is stupid. Yeah. And I get that the MLB wants to push, like, they want more playoff games because people watch the playoffs. Mm-hmm. But less people will watch the playoffs if, they, if it means less. Like, uh-huh. like the Dodgers, 106-win team, are playing the... Cardinals, the sub five hundred Marlins. It's like, <laughs> yeah. why? Why I'm not watching this game? Right. Like, this means.